Gemini Free, with help from Nano Banana, makes it very easy to create smart diagrams and infographics. Not just good looking ones, but ones that actually help you explain things better. You can use your own designs and break them down to reports, or whip up general infographics like timelines using fresh data from the internet to make concepts clear. Let's go for a few examples to see the potential and the limitations. I'll be using Google Gemini Pro, but you can use AI Studio or a few other APIs. Modern architectural diagrams like those from BIG Architects and MVRDV are incredibly useful for presentations. The trick with Gemini is to start with a strong reference image and think through how to break down the design into clear visual steps that show off the key moves. Works best with bold, distinctive forms and shapes. For example, imagine a residential complex inspired by a steppy mountain. Once you've mapped out the main steps, like massing the whole site, carving out the central courtyard, stepping the U-shaped massing, and finally adding greenery and apartments, it's time to turn those ideas into a prompt that Gemini can run with. This is how I have structured the prompt. The first iteration is generally impressive. Even though it's not as polished as something you might make professionally in Illustrator, the concept comes out instantly at one glance, and the arrows do a great job at highlighting the key moves. If anything, the last step might be too detailed. Simplifying it in the prompt can make things even clearer. Overall, it's a fantastic start and shows a lot of potential, especially for contemporary architecture, where you have moves such as twisting, stacking, or layering. There's huge potential for architectural details in facades and plans. But how realistic can these technical aspects be? In a benchmarking study done by AEC Foundry, they asked the question, can AI count basic building elements in residential floor plans? They tested seven LLMs on 150 residential plans. The result was that Gemini 2.5 Pro came out top. Gemini 3 wasn't out at the time, but it's vastly improved. However, the conclusion is that no model is production ready for general drawing understanding. So you should use it for concepts, narratives, and visuals, and even starting points for technical drawings. So this is what we'll go through now. Details and sectional diagrams are a powerful way to show how your building actually works. If you want a photorealistic vertical cut, highlighting things like insulation, mounting, and layers is great. Just be specific about what materials and components you want to see. For example, in this, you might list bronze panels, insulations, concrete slabs. You know your design best, so don't hesitate to add these into Gemini's prompt to break down the images and suggest yourself how to fit these together. Here is the prompt that I used. Now, the interior reddling is impressive, and while the labeling is basic, it gets the job done. If the aspect ratio feels too cramped, you can try asking for a 16 to 9 layout for a more spacious feel. This approach gives you a more clear, indicative perspective and helps viewers understand both the inside and outside composition better at first glance. It's probably better to get rid of all the labels and text and just use this as a starting visual and then add on the details and labels yourself if you want more accuracy. You can go into even more detail and focus, such as with vertical wall sections. This prompt creates a classic architectural section showing how the facade attaches to the building structure. The diagram is especially well suited for highlighting construction and material details. Here the rendering quality is impressive. But for full accuracy, the finer connection details, you would need input from technical experts, really. Unless in the future there's a specific AI train to produce certain connection systems. Still, the overall composition does an excellent job of interpreting the main references and clearly communicating the concepts. Gemini Pre makes it very easy to pull info from PDFs or even videos and turn these into diagrams, which is very useful. For example, I grabbed a PDF about future cities from UN Habitat and dropped the link into Gemini and asked for a summary, quickly listed these key elements, topics, and themes. Next, I can focus on one of the sections about technology, innovation, and quality of life for city dwellers. So I can ask Gemini based on this to make an easy to understand diagram. It's done an excellent job laying out the four main tech themes simply. The text is accurate, though the formatting is a bit messy and there are too many icons and diagrams. On the plus side, it has added clear titles and included the source at the bottom, which is always important. After tweaking this prompt, you can focus more on the role of technologies. Here, Gemini has kept the same format, but improved the clarity. There are fewer icons, 
and no bullet points this time, so it's improved. One tip, unless you specifically ask for a four column layout, Gemini will usually choose what it thinks best to work with. So to keep things consistent, add a reference and a simple layout guide to your prompt. This will help reduce randomness and gives you more control over the final result. Let's dive into how you can use Gemini to show the evolution of styles, architects, or building methods over time. For example, you can create a horizontal infographic timeline that tracks Zaha Hadid architect's work. I'll prompt to start from sharp deconstructive angles on one end to the smooth organic curves on the other end. Now the results are impressive. All the buildings are instantly recognizable, correctly labeled as far as I can see, even the colors and categories make the progression very clear. This approach also works great for side-by-side -side design comparisons. For instance, I will prompt Gemini to create a spit screen infographic comparing a Gothic cathedral style with a brutalist concrete library. I'll ask for a high contrast layout to highlight structural ribs versus concrete slabs and have matching fonts for each style. Now, the output incredibly powerful. It has even customized the fonts to suit each style and added some strong examples and the key texts. Something like this could be in a magazine or polished presentation. A grid layout is also a great way to break down and explain a concept or architectural style. For example, you could use a bento box style approach to highlight key features. I will choose mid century modern architecture. Now with clean lines and vector illustrations in the 16 to 9 aspect ratio, the results are very clear and instantly understandable. So don't hesitate to use vector art for these illustrations, and sometimes simple visuals are the most effective. Beyond technical details, diagrams can be used to help explore and explain conceptual building systems. As mentioned before, don't use these as the final iteration, as the details are never perfect. Sometimes it's important to visualize the invisible systems like energy, water, that make the building work. For this example, I'll be using a vertical forest section to explain and highlight sustainable themes and show how green design can be integrated into architecture. It's done a great job piecing together irrigation pipes, rainwater tanks, and explaining them. It is quite generic, but it gets the main themes across. Even these more generic diagrams are very useful for introducing new topics as they help summarize and communicate knowledge in a clear visual way. For example, you could use a cycle diagram to explain circular economy construction. You could use a prompt such as this. So once again, the output is clean, simple, but easily understandable. This technique can easily extend to other system diagrams, like showing how air and light can move for a building section. Here I've taken eco-friendly library, now want to visualize passive ventilation, airflow, and sun angles entering through skylights. The result is a high-level diagram with bold arrows. Maybe not perfect on details such as pipe and rainwater collection, but it's a solid starting point and you can always add in more arrows. You can experiment also with more conceptual movements while tracking how people move through spaces. They're mostly illustrative, but by combining them with scientific data, they could be really interesting. Gemini 3 and Nano Banana make architectural diagrams and infographics much easier, smarter, and engaging than ever before. You can break down complex ideas, visualize technical details, a few limitations, of course, and customize every diagram for your audience, whether it's for reports, presentations, or teaching. What sets Gemini 3 apart is that the pro understands almost anything you throw at it, going beyond older models that relied only on their training data. I'll be doing more videos on these, so be sure to check them out.